We've just visited the Las Vegas Strip and now we're on our way to Mount Charleston. You know, it's interesting that this region is mostly associated with Las Vegas and it seems that there's nothing beyond the city, just barren desert. Yet in reality, you can't get any more wrong than that. This region is abundant in natural beauty and it's worth to come to Las Vegas just to make it your starting point for exploration. Apart the aforementioned Mount Charleston, there are at least two conservation areas nearby, then also Lake Mead National Recreation Area and the star of it all, Valley of Fire State Park. That's where we're actually heading next as the place has got outstanding rock formations. And as you may know or don't know by now, I love rocks and especially those in the desert. And if all of this is not enough, the surrounding states got also plenty to offer, relatively nearby. How ironic that a place that's so artificial and prefer to snatch your entire attention to itself is actually a perfect place to open up your eyes and explore the nature. We've arrived at a junction with Highway 157, which runs for the next 19 miles right to the heart of Mount Charleston. It's a scenic drive, so you can leave your vehicle at this lot and then continue your trip on bicycle, for example. I personally could have left my trailer here to make it easier on my van, but unfortunately, this is not what happens. Mount Charleston is a bit confusing. For the longest time I thought it is the name of a mountain, which it is, but it's also the name of a town which sits at the foot of the mountain. What I must have missed in the Wikipedia description. That's alright though, compared to the fact how ill prepared I am for this trip, as soon I'm gonna realize that I don't have enough gas. <sighs> now I need to turn around and go pronto to the nearest reasonably priced gas station. We're back on track, baby. We're tanked to the brim and we're good to rock and roll. There is one thing though. This highway is weird. It looks level, but actually it's an incline. And while it seems natural as we're heading to mountains, what's unnatural is how my van struggles to drive it. It's as if there were some odd gravitational forces working here that are stronger than anywhere else. In the end, it might be simply driving against the wind as my rig is not exactly aerodynamic. But the fact remains that the engine wants to redline where there's no gain in speed and it eventually overheats. Typical symptoms of driving a steep and winding mountain pass, which is not the case here. I wonder how things would work out today after I've rebuilt the transmission. There would be certainly a boost in performance, but one way or another, I'd rather leave the trailer at the lot.
so hiker. I really wanted to go to this Mount, Mount Charleston because I heard it's beautiful there. And it's definitely worth worth seeing, but probably some other time with some different setup because this is not a good setup to drive, you know, mountains, hills. If it's gonna happen that, you know, it will be part of our route, then yes, but to go there deliberately just like we do now, I mean, it's really, my car is struggling too, way too much and I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it. It goes too slow, it's overheating and it's like, it's really not, not prepared for, for something like this. Some other time, hopefully we'll have opportunity to, to come here with some different setup or some, I don't know, without trailer at least. But uh, right now, really, for the good, for the, for the sake of our rig, and also, really, I don't want any any adventures that something's gonna happen to my car or something. Really, it's a struggle. So we're turning around and we're going to a valley of fire that, in a way, is gonna be even more interesting than this because. Uh, this is mountains, but we're gonna see plenty of mountains that even better than this. But uh, the desert here is amazing. It's really amazing. It's one of the most beautiful desert in in uh, America. We need to see it. Valley of Fire. So that's where we're gonna go. Hmm, interesting. This area also has got Joshua trees, while well, I thought they only exist in California. It is the first state where I've seen them, and it seems to be their most prominent location. After all, they got an entire national park dedicated to them. But it's cool to see those trees here as well, and as I recall, we also saw a bunch while visiting Chloride, Arizona. As for the Valley of Fire State Park, we're certainly heading there, but first I decided to revisit the Las Vegas trip. I've got an unfinished business there, which is stickers. I certainly cannot miss out on that. It would simply haunt me in my dreams. We are back to our intersection next to the gravel parking lot and now we will take US 95 south which we are gonna drive for a while towards the center of Las Vegas.
We are taking our last exit before the strip and this time we'll be driving it the opposite direction to the one we've taken earlier in the day. Since stickers are the only reason of our return, hopefully it will be a quick in and out. Then again, maybe we'll be able to rediscover this place once more. Let's see what happens. And here we'll take a U-turn to our first gift shop while following the true colors of Sin City. Nothing there. The only good thing about it is I was finally able to walk the street a little and take in the atmosphere better, contrary to simply passing through in your car. But I did walk the strip quite extensively during my first visit in Las Vegas. That was however a long time ago, when I was just a teenage kid. I don't remember much from that time, but I do recall buying an extra large cup of soda and thinking, whoa, is this real? I don't think this town has changed much since then, but its unreal aspect is as strong as ever and it perfectly reflects how America is overall. I will make one more stop while looking for the stickers until I will finally arrive at the shop where I will make my purchase.
And here we are, our last stop, the self-proclaimed world's largest gift shop, what perfectly aligns it with a pompous American tradition. But I need to say, it sure got a real cool facade, and it's gonna look even better at night. Look at this hiker. Las Vegas night mode initiated. That's so awesome. It's 100% improvement over what you can see during the day. And the strip is this way. Right there. Power. Get only better and better. All those slides. And here we are. I'm not sure how it happened that we arrived here during day and we are leaving at night. But apparently not more than 30 minutes has passed. Anyways, I'm happy. I got the sticker and now we are good to go to the Valley of Fire. This means we're leaving Las Vegas. But I definitely want to return here someday and recapture this trip at night. This has to be a totally different experience and much better at that. Meanwhile, we're gonna take Interstate 15 North, which we're gonna drive until we arrive at the truck stop where we're gonna tank and stay overnight. In other words, prepare yourself for a swift drive and tomorrow for a barrage of amazing views. Alright hikers, this is the main strip. This is the Las Vegas strip with all the attractions and whatnot. Everything is in here. Everything. 
Actually on the left there is more attractions than on the right. That's why we're shooting the left. This is actually my second big visit to Las Vegas. I actually would like to stop and take a bicycle and and capture this properly, but I don't think we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do this from the car. Because it's difficult otherwise. That's how it is. There are miniatures of like uh, Empire State Building and you know stuff like this. I think I need to go this way. There are miniatures practically of everything. All the iconic buildings, whatever human built in America and also outside of America. New York, this is Nevada, but New York, New York. Look at the lion here. Ah, the Statue of Liberty with a mask on, that's so funny. Really. <laughs> Look at this. It almost feels as if, you, as if you are in some Asian country, really. Look, MMM, big American candy. Fat bar. Bar Burger, Las Vegas. It would be cool to. Oh yeah, there's the sign. Welcome to Las Vegas, I think. To drive on, we'll see what we're gonna find. It's good. I'm glad that my heart is set more on nature than things like this, because there are people that will, will be crazy about things like this, It'd be nuts. But not me. It's cool, but really, not me. It would be cool to stop and buy some flowers. <laughs> or maybe we'll be able to do this like outside of here or like uh, all these escalators everywhere. Sheesh. Look at this. Look at the balloon. Yellow ambulance. Sheesh. Look at this building, it's kind of cool, huh? This is a nuts place. Really is. I like this movie Casino. It's really great. It's a really great movie. It's awesome. It's set in times when Las Vegas was like a real deal. Now it's no longer the same. But Las Vegas used to be a really like a. <laughs> Apparently it's it's built on, on mob money. Mobsters. Mobsters, lobsters. <coughs> Excuse me. Caesar Palace. Ah. 
Well, Las Vegas is definitely one of those places that is, that is super full of it, so... Why is uh, Jamie Foxx face everywhere? I mean, I don't mind Jamie Foxx, but the king of... Caesar are also masked. It's really like... They're trying to make things funny. so much the same. They really are. Oh yeah, the tower. See this tower there? I was there. See this thing moving up and down there? I didn't take, oh maybe I have, I don't remember, but I definitely took, there is also a ro ro roller coaster on top of this tower and I took this one. As far as I remember. I took something on top of it. Anyways, I was there, <laughs> on top of this tower there. Look at this building, fashion show. Like a U like a UFO. Oh that's that's kinda cool with the ships, pirates, whatnot. The wall, the building is actually is like a huge display or something. That's wow. <laughs> All right, the tower is the end of it. Just like the, the hotel or the casino with like golden windows at the beginning, the tower is the end or the other way around, whatever you prefer. Wow, big city got messed up, huh? This, this Las Vegas strip, it looks like there's a circus there. Circus, circus, okay. Circus, circus, everywhere. Circus, circus. This looks like an old building. Goes back to the old good times. Finally, like uh, old buildings. What we see right now is not how Las Vegas always been. Finally, all the buildings from the like uh, wild era of Las Vegas were pulled down or most of them and now they rebuild everything and now it's everything is totally different here you need to watch this movie Casino it's a really awesome movie then again you could 
think like who haven't seen this movie it's one of those movies that everyone everyone's seen right but you know i've i've talked to people who never even seen uh who never even seen uh star wars forget casino So much would love to stop and buy souvenirs. Stickers mostly. Hopefully we'll be able to do this like uh we don't have to necessarily do this here. Hopefully after we leave this area there will be still something.